Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. In this episode of OH8STN Ham Radio, we're taking a look at an end fed half wave antenna from Chameleon Antenna. It's called the LEFS Light End Fed Sloper. This is an impromptu video, but one I want to get out before I need to take this antenna down. So stick with me and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign there. Now, just in case it isn't obvious, the LEFS lightweight in-fed sloper is an in-fed half-wave antenna. It's also a multi-band HF antenna, one which can be used either portable or fixed installations. Today I'm using it as a temporary antenna mounted outside of a window and out across the yard. This one was an early prototype sent over by Chameleon Antenna. The only thing they asked in return was honest feedback. So here we go. My goal was to simulate a scenario where we had to put up a temporary antenna. This might be a summer cottage, a log cabin, grandma's house or something like that. I decided to throw away the rule book and put it up in an inverted L configuration. Now I know this configuration isn't listed in the user manual, but it is a valid configuration for the type of results I was looking for. Now Chameleon Antenna says it's resonant on 40, 20, 17, 15, 12 and 10 meters and yes, I can confirm this. This is the first reason someone might be looking at this type of antenna. We get multi-band capabilities resonant on multiple bands without any antenna tuner. Another reason an operator might be interested in this antenna, especially a QRO operator, is the 500 watt transmit rating. 500 watts on SSB, 250 watts CW and data. So we get multiband capabilities without the tentacle attack of wires from a multiband vertical. We get extreme QRO output power capabilities, all with an antenna which has a minimal footprint and can be deployed in any one of its configurations within 10 minutes by a single operator. Remember what I used to say back in the day, maximize capability but minimize the gear. So, I've got my antenna set up in an inverted L configuration and uh, I want to start this session by sending and receiving some WinLink emails. Since 40 meters is this antenna's best band, I thought, okay, we'll start with 40 meters. I connected up to Lima Alpha 3 Foxtrot in Norway, who's just under a thousand kilometers away. Now, despite the QRM from an ongoing net and QSB on the band, the connection between Lima Alpha 3 Foxtrot and my own station using the Chameleon LEFS was rock solid. Now, staying on 40 meters for a while, I decided to go ahead and start up JTDX to do some testing with FT8. Now, there certainly were quite a few big gun stations out there, but even so, I had no trouble making consecutive contacts during my stay on 40 meters. Now, it wasn't until I took a look at PSK Reporter that I realized how well the station was doing. If you're not familiar with PSK Reporter, the blue flags you see there are all reports for contacts on 40 meters. What we're especially looking for are the blue flags plus an additional small bubble underneath the flag which denotes being heard as well as hearing the station which heard us. Next I turned my attention to 20 meters for a while. That actually turned out as good, at least as good, as 40 meters, which was quite a surprise. By this point, I was thoroughly confused. I was beginning to wonder how it's possible the antenna was performing like a resonant antenna on each of these bands. So far, the antenna is doing exactly what Chameleon Antenna says it's supposed to do. 
Now we can go back to PSK Reporter just to keep us honest, yeah? So the blue flags again are 40 meters. The yellow flags are 20 meters. Now keep in mind I'm running about 20 watts through the ICOM IC705 pushing the DIY 599PA500 amplifier. 20 watts, that's absolutely insane. I did the same thing on 17 meters and 15 meters with similar results. And again, keep in mind this antenna is not in its optimal configuration. Now one other thing that came to mind while testing this antenna is it could be an excellent option for ALE or other modes where we're actually doing some band hopping, especially if that's a man portable field deployment. What I mean is it's a relatively simple antenna, it's easy enough to deploy, and we get six resonant bands out of it. Okay, moving forward. Another test I did was with an app called VAR AC. Victor Alpha Romeo Alpha Charlie VAR AC. The clever thing about VAR AC is it uses VARA HF from Winlink as its modem. I had a very nice keyboard to keyboard chat QSO with November Charlie 3 Zulu in North Carolina. So this was the very first QSO I've had from one continent to another, from Scandinavia to North America using this app. Now the thing that made it possible, in my opinion, was the Chameleon Lefts, this infed half wave antenna. Now the reason I say this is I was running ridiculously low power and running a wider bandwidth than I normally do for communications from continent to continent. So honestly guys, I have nothing to complain about with this antenna. Performance has been absolutely magnificent and you've seen it yourself right here in this video. Now when the antenna first arrived, I have to say I was kind of put off because it wasn't what I normally expect from Chameleon Antenna. But after doing some real life testing, seeing what it really is all about and what kind of performance we can expect from it, I guess it's safe to say I've become a bit more open minded. So let's take a moment to talk about one observation I made during my testing. In order to achieve the best SWR across all the bands this antenna covers, you need to use a one to one choke balun at the feed point. This will decouple your coax cable from your antenna and help reduce common mode currents reaching your radio. As a side note, I also didn't use any counterpoise wire during any of the testing. Now to finalize this video, let's take a moment to talk about what I'd like to see from Chameleon moving forward with this antenna. First of all, I'd like to see an optional wire element already made up uh, which covers 80, 40, and 20 meters. I understand it's quite a long wire antenna, but it's just a single wire. This will provide a wire resonant antenna option for 80 through 20 meters for the MCOM and preparedness communities. Now I'd also like to see Chameleon make a lightweight version of this antenna. 50 watts maximum output power sustained in CW or data modes. I'd also like to see Chameleon allow the operator to choose which one, the 80 meter version or the 40 meter version. Finally, a BNC connector for a lightweight 50 watt version, if that ever comes to light. So all in all guys, I'm extremely happy with the lightweight and fed sloper. So what about you? Do you have any experience with the Chameleon Lefts? Perhaps you have experience with some other in-fed half-wave antenna. Let me know what you think in the comments. With that said, guys, you know the deal. If you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment and or a thumbs up. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might find it useful. Rock and roll guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.